Thank you very much, Crystal Jenyak. And the, uh, first of all, I directly express sincere thanks for Professor Stefan Kaskel and the organizing committee and also the DECIMA team for making a great job. This is a fantastic web meeting. I'm very pleased to be here. So let me start my talk with PCP morph chemistry toward fourth generation compounds. So before I'm talking about fourth generation compounds, just I want to tell you about the, the uh, a little bit of the history. The most of the audience knows coordination polymer. This terminology was used in 1916 in the Tokyo University in the Professor Shibata and the wrote the, in the French paper. In here, he used the coordination polymer. Here. So nowadays, the, uh, all the people know in the porous coordination polymers, PCPs, and the metal organic frameworks, MOFs. I'm doing the chemistry of coordination space. This is a chemistry using the coordination bond to make the extended structure, particularly in the, the nanospace uh, creating chemistry. So in the uh, 2000, 2013, in the IUPAC uh, task force team for terminology, published the uh, paper. This is just a recommendation, the, the, the terminology of MOF and PCPs. But anyway, and here, there are many coordination compounds. Among coordination compounds, there are, there are coordination polymers. Coordination polymers are linked by uh, bridging ligand to give extended structure, infinite structure. So the, if the, this is extended structure has the, the uh, uh, two and three dimensions we call coordination network. So co about coordination network, the uh, main and the first in the history, the first the people use the inorganic ligand to make extended structure. For instance, in cyanide and hair eyes and oxide, something like that. So uh, this is the, the inorganic ligand bridge CP. So after that, the organic molecules are used to extend the structure. So OCP is the, the uh, uh, huge body of the coordination polymer. Among OCP, if the molecule, uh, the system has have potential voids or pore, we call most and PCPs. So the uh, coordination po polymers, and the uh, this this is the uh, interesting the uh, book. The Ibera wrote the uh, review article the showing the coordination polymers. But just I want to say the organic ligand bonded CP started from D10 chemistry. So D10 means the uh, 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 metal ion, transition metal ion having D10 configuration. So most PCP began with copper one chemistry. So the uh, copper one ion has a spher spherical uh, electro configuration arrangement. So that, that means it's easy to get extended structure in the solid phase. Of course, the structural chemistry was developed with X-ray diffractometers and the synchrotron radiation facilities. So the structural chemistry also started. And the, in, as you know, the, in 1959, the, the Saito synthesized this kind of, of compound having copper one and dinitrile uh, ligand. This has the extended structure and showing the six-fold interpenetration. So in the cavities, the counter anion NO3 was accommodated. Later, and also the brown synthesized a similar type of compound. So the, this, this chemistry is the uh, modular and the designable. And the, for instance, in diamondoid structure, you can choose in the straight ligands and tetrahedral metals 
ion to give the diamond structure. Another option is to use the uh, tetrahedral ligand and then straight bonding type system. So Richard Robson synthesizing this kind of uh, framework in 18, 1989. Our group also synthesized uh, a honeycomb structure using straight ligands and the tetrahedral uh, kappa-1 ions, but one site is blocked. And then we obtained this kind of materials. And what is interesting, in the cavities, the gas molecules are accommodated. So the, in, the, uh, in 1992, we synthesized this type of materials. So the, the, in, in my history, of uh, chemistry. This is a very impressive the event in the, so that, that means we can synthesize the porous structure using the metro ions and organic molecules. So today the, we are going to talk about the, the, the 2G and 3G and 4G, G means generation. So the, just I introduced the 1G uh, compounds. So let's start to the 2G compounds. In the 2G compounds, in the, and this is just a, a, a cobalt and 4 4 bi, uh, bipyridyl type and extended structure. And the, as a synthesized compound com contain the organic solvent, of course, after treatment. And the, we carried out gas sorption in the methane and O2 nitrogen uh, uh, reversibly as solved in this case at room temperature. So the, after, after this, in the, the, this uh, another type of the zinc type of materials are synthesized by Yagi, and then they evaluate the porous structure, uh, uh, porous porosity using nitrogen and the CO2. So the, we can say the, we have the second generation compound. That means uh, we can carry out gas sorption because the structure is robust. So the, uh, thanks to this structure, the, the many people are involved in this chemistry and showing the very interesting the properties in particular in the storage and separation and even in the catalyst today. So let's go to the 3G compound. So before I'm going to talk about 3G systems, just I want to show the, the uh, one point. So that is the, the uh, uh, acetylene sorption. This is explosive dangerous gas. And that time it was very challenge in, in my chemistry, but we synthesized the, uh, this type of pillar, pillar layer structure we call CPL. So the, the CPL is constructed from pyrazine dicarboxylate and copper to give layer structure. Layer structure is linked by the pillar ligand here like this, so we can modify the, the, the uh, cross section of the channel. So we have chosen very small pillar ligand, pillaging, to give this kind of layer structure. And the, the cross section is four times five angstrom. So acetylene molecules are, are accommodated. We determine the crystal structure here. This is just a CPK model and the cross section of the channel the acetylene here. So the, the hydrogen of acetylene and the oxygen, uncoordinated oxygen of carboxylate uh, has the hydrogen bonding. This is double hydrogen bonding. So what is interesting is the compression limit of acetylene, the, its density is 0 0.002 gram per cubic centimeter. This case is 0 0.44 gram. So 200 times larger than this, but still stable. Amazing. So, acetylene, uh, if you apply the pressure to two bar at room temperature, abrupt reaction occurs like this. But in the case of the, this uh, CPL1, our compound, the acetylene molecule accommodated and show the very regularly accommodated structure. So here I want to say in this point, this is the isosome of acetylene. So we observe this isosome. So usually the, in the diorite, the isosome is just a type one isosome. But in this case, we observe 
two step solution. So we want to know what's happening in this case. So that time the, the we have the the spring weight facility in the, the synchro radiation facilities. So the, we try to observe this structure in situ observation. That means the gas molecules are incorporated and, and they regulated the pressure here. And so observe this one. And the a uh, little bit difficult to see here. So the result is we determine the crystal structure. The oxygen molecules are aligned in, in the linearly in this way. This is first the exact crystallographic structure of the gas molecule accommodated in the porous compounds. In the case of zeolite activated carbon, it's impossible. So and this is the, the X-ray diffraction patterns in this case. This is total the X-ray diffraction patterns, but uh, just look at this part. And the, uh, uh, depending on the accommodation of the acetylene here, and this is the, oh, sorry, th th this is uh, upper host, completely vacant form. And so the, we introduce the acetylene. Usually just uh, uh, one upper host does not change but this case in the, the finally the saturated form is like this, showing the expansion occurs. But we observe the intermediate here. So the, the, we determine the crystal structure. So that means, and the uh, first upper host first expand to accommodate uh, a certain acetylene molecules. And then finally the occupied form is like this. So expansion and shrink occurs in this compound. So that means the uh, most PCPs have more or less flexible frameworks and have softness is characteristic and advantages of this substance. That is the answer. What are PCPs most good for? Softness is a very important character in this case. So we call soft porous crystals because the, there are many this type of behavior in the, even in the case of the cough molecular assembly crystals. So the flexible morph, of course, crystal sponge, this is also soft porous crystals. So let us let me show you the soft porous crystals in the morph PCP. And the uh, uh, Kaneko observed the nitrogen sorption in the layer type structure. Our group showed this kind of hinge type uh, pillar uh, framework and by using methanol. And uh, Gerard Ferre observed this kind of the uh, chromium compound show the expandable system. And then the, what's interesting here, the, we carried out the gas sorption at room temperature using the nitrogen, oxygen, carbon monoxide, and methane. They are supercritical fluid state in this position. And so the, we observed the uh, gas sorption using two type of compound. First one, the expandable one. Second is interdigitated system in the mutual dislocation occurs to make a hole. So the, we observe the open gate system. What happening? What is open gate? This is very important question. But anyway, the, this is the reality in, in, the, in, in the, the previous slides. We synthesize copper uh, to uh, using copper 2 and dihydroxybenzoic acid or bipyridine to get give this kind of crystals structure is like this. And the, uh, this is the model what's happening when incorporation in the gas molecules. So this is the sorption profile. So depending on the gas properties. That means the, the, the uh, are pro proportional to the, the boiling point, CO2, methane, and O2 nitrogen. So all gas substances show the gate of pressure, different gate of pressure. This is image and the apply the pressure, the, the gate of to accommodate gas molecules and the, the crystal pressure, the, the close the gate. So, and if you exclude that and calculated the subdynamic energy in this case, and the, in particular in the open form and the closed form in this system. So the energy difference is only four to five kilojoules per mole. 
very small. So this is surprising. But the later we can understand this is the cooperative effect. It's not the not individual uh, cage effect. This is a co uh, cooperative effect in this case. So, and the, uh, uh, there are many, many the uh, flexible framework. And this is the global, uh, we call global flexibility. That means the as a total crystal expand or deform or something like that. So, framework spelling done by Christian Sere and Jerry Ferre group, and also the, the uh, breathing type and Hong Kai Zhou, Warren Fisher, and the uh, Ji Peng Zhang, and Jeff Long, Omar Far, and Sam Kaskell is the digital string curve system, interpenetral case that we did in Mike Zaratoko, also Bang Li Cheng, and also interdigital layer. So there are many, many global flexibility. Okay, so from discovery of this phenomena to creation and the control of functions. That's a very important for the future. So uh, in order to mention about this, just I want to show the, the, the physical parameters of the small molecule, that is gas substances. So the molecular size and shape is very important for the recognition of molecule. And the boiling point is very also important in the interaction energy. So and the carbon monoxide, nitrogen, O2 argon, xenon, ethylene, and the acetylene CO2. All pairs show the, these substances show the very, very short distance. That means that recognition and separation are difficult, highly difficult. So let's see CO and N2 mixture. And the, we synthesize and the copper and dihydroxy uh, this case is the isophthalic acid derivative. These components give the dicarpal units. So these components are linked to each other to give the, the so-called Kagome lattice. So we carried out gas option here. And so the, the, uh, in a certain pressure, there's a big difference between nitrogen and CO. In this case, in the activated carbons, there are no difference. So that means it's very difficult to recognize these two gas substances. So what happening? To make long story short, I want to show the movie here. And the uh, Kagome lattice show a, ki a kind of uh, mutual dislocation in this case. So the in the in phase form give this kind of channel. The out of phase form the uh, discrete cavities like the, like this. So the, when the gas molecule accommodated, this is CO, code, this, the, they coordinate to copper. This induces the gate opening. So the, the CO, the abruptly introduced in this way, but in the case of nitrogen, nitrogen cannot coordinate to copper site. So nitrogen cannot open the gate. So this is the mechanism. We call self-accelerating adsorption of CO. So that we can make a pellet and the pellets are placed in the column in this way. So introduce the, the mixed gas and first CO coordinate in the, the copper side to get open the channel and accommodate it. After through accommodation, they switch the gate, switch the valve to release CO. Uh, So let's summarize. Usually in, in the, in the uh, hard adsorbent, such as zeolite, the adsorption type one like this, but in the soft system, gate system show this kind of gating absorption. But if you, you look at the full loading in that case, the full loading amount is essentially the similar, but big difference is gas recovery. So gas recovery means the, in a certain pressure, we load the gas and then the uh, gas recover. So that means the certain pressure region set. That means, and the, we can get the, the most of the accommodated gas substances are recovered in this case. 
So, question arises. One, what were important factors for gate opening adsorption? Number two, what is the reason for sigmoidal adsorption isosome? Number three, how can we control cooperative force functions? That is the big points, but important. Uh, recently, uh, this year, the, we published the review articles in the uh, uh, two persons, in the Klaus and uh, Hosono. And the, this showed the energy landscape uh, discussions. So in order to the understanding and control the softness and the gate opening absorption, we need to have energy landscape. So the, please look at this uh, review, but they just I want to show the one point in, in, in for instance, in the type one absorption system, just a zero right in that case. So the, the uh, total energy is very important. And if total energy is negative, so that means the, this absorption occurs. And the total energy consists of deformation energy of the structure and also the gas absorption interaction. So deformation energy is usually the positive. The inter interaction energy is negative. So let's see in this case. This case in the one by one gas molecule accommodated. For each case, total energy is negative. So that means the all sorption occurs. And we can get this kind of sorption profile. But in the case of gate closed system, and the uh, uh, whole accommodation states are positive. So that means this option does not occur. But in the case of SPC, and the, in, the, in the one gas accommodated, it is positive, it doesn't occur. The second molecule doesn't occur, third, no, and the fourth molecule, but nothing happened because the, the positive. But, and the five molecules accommodated, total energy negative. So this means abruptly occurs absorption. So, and so based on this consideration, let's see the example. So we synthesize this kind of iron type, the, the uh, uh, force coordination polymer and morph. And so, and the ligand is like this. So this period and the uh, triazole part coordinate to make the infinite structure and but the this PG, this side and also this side does not coordinate but the ligand is almost the same and the coordination geometry are same so that means and the uh, all struc two structures are isostructure but co2 options are different c form show this kind of the type one option then N form show the uh, two step option. So we need to understand th this behavior. And so we use the, the uh, calculation for the, the in including the infinite frame of effects and also the, the exact interaction energy. So the, the, this material contain, uh, have, have three porous sites. The, the first one, the six CO2 molecule accommodated, side two, six, and size three, three molecule accommodated. Okay, once again, this structure shows the end type show the two step and totally 220 milliliter per gram. But this PCPC show the only one around 90 milliliter per gram. This is calculation. The, the deformation and the interaction energy is like this. So, in, in particular, in the um, one, two, three accommodation, in deformation energy like this. In the case of cavity one, so deformation energy is very small, but two and three is very large. And the interaction energy is almost the same. So that means the total energy like this. So the cavity one, the, the, this option is very easy. So the, for instance, in the, this, this is option one molecule, two molecules, three, four, five, six molecules. So the, the uh, uh, interaction energy is almost the same, but the deformation energy almost the same. So that means in the type one, site one, this option is very easy, okay? But in the case of site two and three, deformation energy is very large. 
So the total energy is positive, almost positive. So that means this solution does not occur in this case. So this this is a scenario here. The in the site one in in the in the end case, and of course the more, six molecules accommodated, and then the, uh, the the next step, and the first molecule in CO2 accommodated in that case deformation energy is larger than the interaction energy. That means this happened does not happen, but nine molecules accommodated simultaneously, the total deformation energy is smaller than the interaction energy. So that means this occurs. And the C case in, in the first one is oh, okay, and the accommodate occurs in this case, but in, in the side two and three case, every case the deformation energy is larger than the interaction energy. So that means this does not occur, okay? So the structure is almost the same, but the CO2 solution are completely different. So th th that, that is the explanation of this phenomenon, okay? So the, this kind of uh, the, the idea is very e important. This is example two, the structural deformation energy modulation strategy. So we use interdigited structure like this. So we introduce the interaction between the, this framework so if this framework interaction is very weak, so that means close poor and open poor, the energy difference is not so big. In that case, so the, the sorption occurs. But in the if the, this interaction is very big, so to break this interaction means the deformation energy is very large. So the the this does not happen. So the uh, just I want to show the we use the uh, uh, amino amino substituent for the interaction in that, this case. So we observe the chloroform and dichromethane in that case. So in the amino case in the, the, the no substitute group, so almost a similar solution energy. But in the case of chloroform in that uh, dichromethane, in that case in the amino group show a very unstable state when the gas molecule are solved. So that means this option pro is like this. This does not occur. So, and the, let's show the uh, uh, another case in the practical acetylene storage. So the usually the acetylene storage is carried out in this pressure range, but in the type one shows the the capacity is like the usable capacity like this. And also the, 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 the outside the gate open close pressure case is like this. So we have to have the quite nice match in this case. So using these derivatives and the gate opening, gate close moving, depending on the substituents like this. So, and the, uh, this is the summary in the, the experiments and so the uh, gate opening and gate closing range show the in this range here. So and the, uh, you see in that case in the, the even this temperature uh, around room temperature and the pressure range, we can get this type of the compounds. So I'm to I mentioned about the global flexibility. So global dynamics. So we have the another dynamics, just local dynamics. Local dynamics is like this. The framework itself is very robust, but the component of the, the usually in the organic parts is dynamic. So first we observe this uh, dynamic rotation using this type of materials and the layer are linked by the pyrazine. So the deuterated pyrazine uh, is used for this system because the the, the uh, uh, deuterated NMR, solid state NMR gives the rotational barrier. So this case is only 7.7 .7 kg per mole, but in the case of naphthalene derivative, in that case, this is a bit of different type from this, but and in this case in the 53 kg per mole. 
So that means this kind of motion, rotation, depends on the size of, of the molecule and the, also the nature of the molecule. So the, this motion uh, determines the diffusion of gas molecules like this. So the Ji Pen Zhang and Xiaoming Chen and synthesizing this kind of the uh, triazole type copper compounds and they observe the gas sorption. This case is nitrogen, the heating and the sorption the increases. So that means the gate type substituent, this is the diacetyl ligand uh, substituent and motion is very important to determine the diffusion of gas molecules. So from discovery to control, we have to control these systems. So we have chosen this type of ligand and the isophthalic acid has a big substituents. This has flipping motion, just like a, a butterfly. So we synthesize this type of framework and then they carried out this option. So this is the cross uh, side view of the channel. And if the temperature is high, in that case, this motion is very active. So the gas molecule can smoothly be diffused. but in the middle temperature range like this. And then low temperature range, the, the, this motion, the freeze, so the uh, hard to diffuse. So th this is isobar and the low, below the temperature, the, the adsorption occurs, but ultimately the, the, the uh, stop. This is diffusion limitation dominant. And the, our system show the rotational uh, motion. So that means the isobar show like this. We carried out gas molecule and this is O2 and argon. O2 show the peak here, and but argon show different point. So that means selectivity in that condition is 350. Also the uh, S3 and, and the SN in that case are different the peak. So, so that means in the high temperature, the, the gas molecule diffuse easily. But low temperature, the, the, like this. So, and the, this is the real system and just a mixture introduced in the, depending on the temperature, diffusion are different. So, design of local flexibility is very important. Just I showed the flipping system Already we published the rotational gate system, but there are another thing, this is the torsional system. And Yun Pak Su, they observe this kind of the torsion system and also catenates and reductions or stimulus dependent system. And what is interesting in this kind of the, the uh, high degree of freedom using the uh, oligopeptide. So, Matt Rosensky is very uh, brave to synthesize this type of system, but in the, near, in the future, this kind of the uh, high degree of freedom system is very important for, for the function of this SPC. Also the, the control, this kind of function are very important. And already I showed you this. Data I show this, I discuss about this in the size effect and also the ligand dependence and the uh, metal element dependence. And this is the hybrid system, the, the having the substrate and thin layer uh, systems are constructed. And the uh, defect also important and the species and the occupancy control is also the interesting. So, and the SPC control is, chemistry is expanding more and more. Now, let's move on to the 4D system. So the, in the third generation system has three attributes, flexibility of course, and the diversity, structure and the electric structure, this is diverse of course. And, but the, in the flexibility and the collectivity are very important. So using the, 
attributes fourth generation has. Hierarchy hybrid, anisotropy asymmetry, defect disorder, H WHWAWD, HAD. These keywords are very important. For instance, in this case, melting, missing, missing the defect disorder, broadens PCP more science, downsizing leads to new properties, PCP on morph, uh, PCP on PCP on morph on morph or other materials in the hybridization creates new worlds. So let's see the downsizing. So let, downsizing are very important in the, in a sense, in the, everybody familiar with nanostructure, but, and also the macroscopic structure, but the mesoscopic sign structure are very, very difficult to, to pursue. And the uh, mesoscopic science is undeveloped field, I think. And so the science technology going meso, meso session and meeting were held at various conferences raising awareness in scientific media and community. So in order to do this, in the case of the apply this to morph PCP chemistry, we have to control the, the uh, size of crystals. So the, we developed the coordination modulation method and, and using this method to this kind of entangled systems. By using coordination method, they, we regulate, control the, the crystal size. And they are very uniform crystals, crystal like this. This is 500 nanometer, 300, 160, 110, 60, and 45 nanometer. And then, and the, the time is limited. Just I want to sh show the results. By using the, this, the, the, size regulated crystals, we observe the uh, very interesting safe memory sorption effect. And the, it, usually the, the, the closed form is collapsed and then the open form like this. But in the middle school phase, this open form is maintained. So this is a new aspect of, of, of the, the, this uh, uh, porous compounds. And also this Stefan Kasker and observe the, the uh, different type of sorption profile. And Hiroshi Kitagawa also the, the thin layer type systems by downsizing the flexibility is obtained. Also the Ron Fisher group and also observe this kind of system. So the downsizing are uh, very important and we have a chance to discover new chemistry. So the next one is hybridization and the uh, integration. So we first the synthesizing the core shell type crystals and more than 10 years ago. But after that, there are so many morphomorph morph PCP on PCP and the various type of the crystal structure, core shell and cytospecific epitaxy growth and other structures and thin film and like this. So many researchers are contribute to very much this chemistry. So that is the, uh, the very brilliant of the future uh, using this kind of materials. So the keep in mind, what is interesting is interface. So the between interface uh, two or three and the March crystals. So control the interface is very important. And the output from th this kind of system is uh, a very, very bright, there are a wide variety of the functions. Photo assisted, gate, gas, gas diffusion, and the luminescence and the photocatalyst, thermal catalyst and gas sensors and so on. So there are so many the, the outcome from these uh, systems. So I cannot forget to introduce the, this system, PCP polymer hybridization. And the, uh, more than 10 years ago, the, the almost 20 years ago, we synthesized in the polymer in the, in, in the PCP or morph. 
and the, this is a, a kind of the hybrid. But nowadays, this is the Cisco's video articles, the figure showing the various type of the hybridization. And this is the output and the gas separation, adsorption, chiral separation, water purification, and so on and so forth. So the, uh, this, is, this is the another chemistry and the very promising chemistry for the future. And in addition to this uh, uh, system, the, the, this is also the promising. That is the metal oxide and the, also the graphene and, met, and coughs and enzymes, ionic liquids. So this kind of hybridization system is completely very important for the future. So this is also the interface, a uh, big issue. So the in interface science is very important for the future in the more PCP chemistry. So finally, I'll show the melting missing. So the, the before the, these works and the people believe that MOF and PCPs decomposes on the heating, but the certain compound show the uh, melting. And then this by super cooling, the, the, this can be converted to glassy state. And, the, and after that, and the, they can get, this can be converted to the crystal. So the, the, the Satoshi Horike and the, the uh, Tom Bennett and the open up this chemistry. And just I to show the uh, uh, one example in using the, the proton conductors. Proton conductors are very important in the electrolyte of your cells. But we are very much interested in the intermediate temperature range proton conductors. In this range, we don't need to have the water, a moisture. This is moistureless conductor. So this is one example using the zinc and the uh, dihydrogen phosphate and the triazo. We obtained this kind of the, the network structure. So, so in the dihydrogen phosphate, uh, rotate, apically coordinate and rotate like this. This is white powder, but heating, we can get the liquid state. After super cool, we can get glassy state. That, that means it's easy to get the thin film. This is the rotation. This is imagination and the, the uh, proton uh, hopping to show the proton conduction. So by using this system and we can make a, a thin film as a proton conductor, this is the fuel cell and we introduce the hydrogen here and the working temperature is here and the temperature is over 100 degrees Celsius. So it works without the, the, the uh, moisture. So the, the, by melting phase, and the, we can create the functions of coordination network. And the, uh, uh, this proton conductor already I said, and the seeping ions and the uh, uh, separations and so on and so forth. So the, this kind of chemistry is coming up more and more. So I would say the, the people look at the object and then they make an imagination and design the structure and synthesize like this. If we can get the beautiful crystals, it's fantastic, okay? But is that okay? Is that true? Reality is like this. There are so many defects and disorder. So the control defect disorder are key to new morph PCP chemistry. So the uh, and the good doing 
the uh, pointed out the importance of this uh, defects disorder and the control and correlation. And the the uh, other many uh, review articles regarding on this system. And the, our system just I want to show the we, we, I showed you before the, the proton conductor. The as a synthesized compound show very beautiful crystals, but still there is a defects, and the, in particular in the phos phosphoric acid defects. So that means the proton con conductor as a conductor, the proton conduction is rate is is lower than the perfect case. So we have to the add the, the this phosphate in the in, in the defect site increase more and more. And ultimately, we can get the higher conductivity like this. So the, to know the defect is very important for, for the functionality of the porous uh, coordination polymers or PCP MOS. So this is also the, the, the fantastic the output from the, the, the uh, uh, missing state. And, here and the, the time is uh, limited and the, I cannot tell the details but the of course catalysis and the also the the uh, the other the sensing and so on and so forth so the uh, the missing control is very very important for the future so and the I told many times I mentioned about the interface. In, so the the uh, this is the uh, surface system, and the surface is very uh, interesting, but it's difficult to see. So the in the historically, and the Nian Lin, he was that time he was in Max Planck Institute. He he observed the 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 copper uh, organic molecule, the thin one molecule thin layer system using STM. And the, after that, and the, by using TM, the several people observed the surface of the MOF compounds. And so in this case, in the no gas molecules. So the, we want to, as far as we say, the uh, porous materials, we want to see the, the absorption profile using the, on the surface. So the, we carried out the AFM observations and the, so this is the example, and the, by using these ligands, we synthesize this kind of the framework structure. So bulk crystals, this is just uh, one layer of bulk crystals, and the, the, this is the, the Bacon system and the tetragonal. But once the biphenyl group, uh, biphenyl molecule accommodated in the structure, that's the rhombic. So the, uh, the system, the surface like this, Okay, the, we observe this, and then put this crystal on, on the solution of the biphenyl, and observe this option profile, and a, a hand, this is the surface here, and then, so what is interesting is, if the, the, the liquid concentration, okay, and the bulk phase does not respond to 500 millimolar gas, but the surface, does. So that means bulk size does not change the shape, but liquid solid interface shows this kind of, of the, the deformation. Okay, so and the, the uh, surface is completely different from the bulk state. So the uh, surface is very active. So the interface science is very important for the future. And finally, the the, we have to focus on the spin charge photon in, in addition to separation conversion storage, okay, for, for the, the new, the making new devices. So the only a few years, so for instance, this is just electric conducting move materials and thin layer and the Nishihara carried out this thin film synthesis and the Mircea Dinka also synthesizing various type of compound. So, so many the uh, interesting products are coming out. So the conductivity increasing more and more and more and more. 
this is very promising for the catalytic system and also the new type of the function of uh, this BMOF. So the, this, the, this is just the application, battery, supercapacitor, gas sensor, and so on and so forth. So in conclusion, the, the, uh, in just the 30, uh, 30 years ago, we focusing on the uh, rubber structure of MOF PCP, but advantage of this material is SPC. So the 3D global dynamics and 3G global dynamics, of course, but, but integration is another aspect. So the, in that case, hierarchy and the boundary are very important focus, scientific focus on this system. So in the, 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 the surface is very important and in interface science and technology. Uh, next step the science using the more PCPs so the uh, that is that is the uh, very promising this chemistry and the uh, thanks to these properties and new structures new architectures we can get many many the the applications and also the discover new functions and we have a chance to ha have this kind of new system. So, oh, thank you very much. And the, uh, I want to thank my uh, collaborators and also the, the funding agencies. Thank you for your kind attention.